Okay, geometry, chapter one, section four, angle measure. And before we start talking about angle measure, let's look at exactly what an angle is. And an angle is constructed with two, oh, let's see, which one do I want to use? I want to use the pointed one. An angle is constructed with two opposite rays. Okay, so an angle is constructed let's just say with two rays. And a ray is a um, it's a line that has an endpoint, so it's basically a combination of a line segment and a line. You'll see that it does end here, but it extends on to the right forever. So let's go with just a typical x, y, z. So the rays are y, x. And labeling is very important on this one because it is the x side that extends forever. So y has to be first. And then that would make the second ray y, z. And they intersect at point y. That's where the endpoint is. And that is called the vertex. I was taught and always remember uh, that the vertex is where the angle makes a V, vertex. So this area right here is where it comes in and makes a V. I can label this angle three different ways. This could be angle XYZ. It could also be angle ZYX. And I could also label it, because there's nothing else connected to it, as simply angle Y. Notice that Y is the vertex, and it's always in the middle if I do a three-letter label. The vertex is always in the middle of a three-letter label. Okay, let's look at this. I've got a plane. Um, what's the letter I have used there? A, B, C, X, Y, Z. Let's just go plane D, just to keep it basic. This is plane D. And in plane D, I've got an angle. And I might call that L M N. So that's angle L M N. That angle has some things or some points that are in this area. And it also has some points that are in this area. So we're going to classify those points. OK. So the yellow is going to be my interior. because it's on the inside of my angle. And the green is going to be my exterior, because it's on the outside of my angle. 
And then I could also say that L, M, and N are on my angle. They are included, so they're not on the inside or the outside. They are the actual angle. Okay, so interior and exterior of the angle. Okay, now I want to look at um, look at some different situations where I could not just label it angle, uh, just a single letter. When we go back to when we go back to our first one, we could label this angle Y because Y was by itself here, and there was nothing else connected to it. But as we get a little more intense into angles, we'll notice, well, there's some angles here that come off of B, but they all come off of B. It's not just one. For example, I could look at angle C, B, D. And that would be this angle right here. C, B, D. I couldn't label that angle B because B is connected to some other things. And I'm just going to list some angles that we could find here. I could also have this angle here, which is D, B, E. Again, understand that my vertex is in the middle. I could also go with this larger angle here. I need a new way of, let's see, I want to change that. Okay. Well, I just want to label them. I don't want to get too confused on colors and different things. I've got a little difficulty with that. So I've got DBE. Let's go, let's keep going with the little ones. Um, I've got this angle here, which is going to be EBF. I've got this, la this l label, this angle here as FBA. I always have to look at my letters and make sure that they don't spell anything. That's too crazy. Notice that my vertex is the same down the middle. And that should always be the case. Now, there are more angles here. There are some bigger ones. Um, I've got CBE right there. I've got CBF right there. Also, I have the actual straight angle itself of CBA. It's a straight line, which would be 180 degrees right there. Let's get rid of those. Okay. Let's see, are there some other ones? So let me get that out of the way. Do I have, do I have ABF, ABF I do. Do I have ABE, ABE I do not. So I also have angle ABE. A, B, D, I do not have that one, and then I do have A, B, C, I know already. So that should get them all. Again, notice those vertices right down the middle. That's the way they should be. Okay, let's look at our classification of angles. 
three basic classifications. Our first one is going to create a 90 degree angle, which will make this a right angle. Again, it has to be exactly 90 degrees. Our second one is a small angle. I learned to call it acute little angle because it's smaller. And so acute angle. And the acute angle has to be less than 90 degrees. And it has to be greater than 0 degrees because you do, zero degrees would not be an angle. And then I have an obtuse angle. Okay. And an obtuse angle is less than 180 degrees, because if it was 180 degrees, that would make it a straight angle. And it is also greater than 90 degrees. So less than 180 and greater than 90. So right angle, acute angle, and obtuse angle. OK, that should get it. We're also going to do some constructions in class on different types of angles. And so that is 1-4, angle measure.